What's up? What's up, everybody? Jonathan here with Boston Collectors. And in today's video, it is very, very exciting. It's going to be a two part video beginning with Padme Amidala. And then we're going to go ahead and move on over to Anakin Skywalker. As usual, right? Is it worth the price? Padme Amidala, $270. We also have the expected to ship date between January of 2024 as well as June 2024. Kicking right off with the flex payments, we have the payment dates. Again, don't forget to choose whichever works for you. Also, when you go back to change the date, that, that takes away from the changes to your order. So make sure you get that right the first time. I typically like them to take it out the fifth of every month. And I also like to pick the highest number of payments. So ensure that all of that is correct before you apply that payment plan and hit that pre-order. Now we also have the NRD set at $27 flat. You just drop off whatever that last number is. Boom, that's your NRD. Now the photos aren't up yet here on the website. Again, I wanted to get this out. I was excited. Usually they update the website around 11 a.m., 12-ish in that ballpark. Getting right into it, we don't really need to know about the six scale figure. We know who this figure is. We know where it's from. This is also on the Hot Toys Facebook page as well. You're not missing anything here. As we move down to what's in the box here, we have the authentic detailed likeness of Natalie Portman as Padme Amidala. We also have the head sculpt, the separate rolling eyeball function, which is SIRS. Purse is where the, the joystick would allow you to control both eyes at once. That's purse. SIRS is where it's separate and you're rolling them yourself just throwing that out there for anybody who may not have known. Now, how that feature is going to be implemented, I'm not sure. Chances are you're going to have to take off the hair on the portrait and then maybe you can change it from there, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, the body has over 28 points of articulation, although they don't point out if it's double jointed or not. And it was kind of hard to tell through the promotional images, but we'll get to that shortly. She comes with five pieces of interchangeable hands, including one pair of fists, one pair of relaxed hands, as well as one pistol or rifle holding left hand. They did us good up until that one hand for the rifle or the pistol. Maybe, you know, I would have wanted her dual wielding, you know, that big rifle and the pistol, or I would have liked two hands for that. Let me know what you all think about that down below. We also have the special packaging, which is designed for the Star Wars Attack of the Clones 20th anniversary. As for the costume, the costume is what we saw with the prototype some years ago. Slight updates and we'll, we'll share that in a second. So we have the beige colored cape, we have the headpiece, the white colored shirt, pair of white colored pants, one pair of metal silver armbands, the beige colored utility belt with the pistol holster, and last but not least, one pair of beige colored boots. As for the weapons, we have the blaster pistol and the blaster rifle, which was talked about earlier. And last but certainly not least, we have the two Droid Factory themed diorama accessories. And we also have the specially designed figure stand with the Star Wars logo and the character nameplate. As we head back up to the top here, again, we don't have the photos here on the website, but that's okay. We came correct for y'all. We got the Facebook page up. We're ready to go. <laughs> now, right out the gate, Pat May looks amazing. Um, I do think that the lighting, the texturing, and the um, and the color grading sort of made her appear a little bit pasty, a little, uh, I don't know, the, the makeup on it looks a little heavy, but I actually blame the, uh, the color grading for that one. As we continue on though, and again, keep in mind that it is a prototype. This isn't a hundred percent final. Although I think, especially right here, she looks incredible. This looks like Natalie Portman. It really does. I've seen the comparisons to, uh, I, be I believe Millie Brown is the actor's name. I can see it in certain photos, but right here, this looks like Natalie Portman to me and she looks incredible. Now, as we look here, obviously we, we see the rolling eyeball function being used, which is uh, SIRS. They don't really market it anymore for SIRS and purse. Maybe it was confusing. I don't know. But regardless, they show you how it looks and how they function. And it looks really, really good. It's starting to come off as this is the standard these days. And I would like for that to continue. Everything that's included. This is uh, actually a bonus accessory that we never really saw her put on in the movie. And they went ahead and included it, which is really nice of them. We also have the blaster rifle, the blaster pistol, and the hands included which look very, very similar, might I add, to Ray. Very interesting to see that. The base looks incredible. Again, the portrait on that figure looks incredible from this distance. Very phenomenal likeness. But there are some portraits where it make her face look unusually long, and I blame the lens used from the photographer. But as we look at the base, uh, this is, now this is a base. This is what I've been talking about all this time. I'm so happy to see that they went ahead and maintained this approach for Padme Amidala's base. As we zoom out and head on to the next photo, we also get to see 
her use the the headpiece that we didn't get to actually see her wear, which they mention at the bottom here. So the bonus unused headpiece from the Star Wars Attack of the Clones was also added for us. Really nice of them. They didn't have to, but they did. Now it almost looked like she's double jointed, but again, it could be the angle, but I almost don't want to say just yet because this kind of happened with Bo-Katan. Now my Bo-Katan is actually coming in today and maybe I'll be able to like really tell, maybe try to mimic this particular portrait, but we'll have to see. This is, uh, this is phenomenal. This is, uh, it's kind of looking double jointed here. I have to say this is, this is wow. Phenomenal. Maybe if the, uh, if the portrait didn't look so pasty and the color grading was done a little bit differently, but again, it's a prototype. It's not meant to be a hundred percent perfect out the gate. It's more like the template, the blueprint, if you will. This looks like Natalie Portman. Phenomenal work. She's holding the blaster, which again, since she's got that relaxed hand, right? She can hold, she can anchor the, uh, the front of the gun. She can sort of mimic reloading it, if you will. But I just really wish we had the left trigger finger as well included. Now, when it comes to Anakin, we're going to have a separate video on him. Check that out after this one if you'd like, or, you know, hang on until the end of the video and you'll be able to select that video at the end. But together, they're, they're really selling this, man. They are really selling it. We've seen this before in their promotional material, which is, uh, really really cool i also noticed that this looks a little bit darker the tabard's on anakin but keep this in mind for the next video and we'll start discussing that shortly but when you look at padme amidala here she looks really good phenomenal costume design the portrait just she is going to look incredible in front of my chrome clone troopers this is in fact when you look at the armbands as well they kind of match the way that those troopers look the blaster pistol as well it, i can't wait that looks like natalie portman to me incredible likeness let me know down below if you all are pre-ordering i know this was one that a lot of collectors were looking forward to i wasted no time wow the the, the paint application on the makeup they also captured that very very well the lipstick it does kind of appear as if she's wearing makeup but again it's just a little too pasty and i blame that on just being the prototype side by side again they're really trying to <laughs> let you know you don't want to just buy one you want to buy two and then here we are at the accessories card. So again, we have the rolling eyeball function, which is Cerse. We also have the bonus headpiece. We have the hands, we have that base, and we also have the blaster rifle and the blaster pistol. Phenomenal, phenomenal set. Now, with this in mind, going back to the price point, do you feel like it's worth 270? Is what's included on this accessories card worth 270? Or do they know that there's excitement for this character and a longing for this character 270 let me know what you all think down below before i share my thoughts looking at this for face value we've waited for this prototype for such a long time we've waited for pat Amidala since i want to say at least four or five years ago i could be wrong let me know down below i don't i don't have the exact date on when that prototype was shared but there has been an overwhelming amount of collectors saying that they want this figure now for 270 though 270 is this worth it i'm gonna have to say one i think the price is a little jacked i do think the price is a little absurd slightly i probably would have said maybe 250 ish ballpark but current times and the excitement and waiting to hear this for 270 i can see why they will put it here i do wish that the price was slightly lower because then you have Anakin who's at 279. Why is Padme 270? With Anakin, we have two LED lightsabers and 270 is slightly high, slightly. I can see why they did it though. Before we move on though, I do want to shout out the hot toy sculptor, Hey DJ. I'm, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, forgive me. This is her Instagram profile. If you're interested, I'll link that down below in the description. She shared the prototype here on her page. And this is, I'd imagine JC Hong after painting it. Phenomenal, phenomenal portrait. Now, again, when you look here in comparison to some of the portraits here, this one looks a little bit clearer to me that it's Natalie Portman versus this portrait here. The face looks a little bit longer than what we see here. I know it's kind of uh, zoomed out. Let's go ahead and zoom that in a little bit more. This looks like her. This doesn't. I really genuinely believe that this is a, a lens choice. Who Whatever lens that they went with for both of these are definitely different. And this is going to be a figure where in hand is going to make the difference. So if you look at this and you're saying you see Millie, look at all of the portraits and compare them. You can see 
see that the portrait on this figure is totally different, although they're the same. So let me know what you all think down below. This is Jonathan with Boston Collectors. Is 270 worth it to you? Again, share your thoughts with us down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our collection tour that we had uploaded last week. If you're interested in seeing my space, if you like Star Wars collections and office tours and all of that good stuff, go ahead and check out our video and let me know what you all think. Again, this is Jonathan with Boston Collectors, and we'll catch you on the flippity-flop.